Preachers and people united as one. Previously at Fairview High. Melissa's mandatory Halloween party became a real fright fest when her guardian, a third wave feminist witch, threatened to kill Andrew, Nick, and Ryan. With help from Amanda and Lindsay, the boys were able to escape the witch's insanity and free Melissa from her clutches at the same time. A few weeks later. Mark, welcome back to the school. I hope you enjoyed your time off. That's me, Markiford J. Hopper, at your service. We have an assignment for you. Oh man, do I have to do it today? There's a marathon of my favorite show on TV right now. It's called, I Can't Do It. I, I can't do it. Is that why you were late coming here to school just now? No, because I can do it. All right, well, we need you to clean up some of that mess at Mila's house. What? I thought Ruff took care of that. Oh, he did. So why do I have to do it, Mr. Babble? We need you to go in there and repaint the walls and make it look nice again. All he did was fix the headboard and get rid of the broken wires. Gross, I don't want to go down there, Mr. Wit. Hey, do you guys know where Ruff is? We well, already told you before. No, Mark. You haven't heard from him? No, Mark, we haven't. Do you guys think he's, um... All right, Mark, if I were you, I wouldn't worry about it. Just focus on your work for the school. But I still have some of his clothes in my apartment, though. Well, look at that, you got some free clothes. Oh, look what the cat dragged in, Mr. Witch. I see him, Mr. Babble. Are you looking for Sami or Ruff? Because we haven't seen them here in a while. Teachers of Fairview, it has come to my attention that you are in need of what you call a student teacher. And after much deliberation, I have decided to offer myself up as an option. Really? Well, I didn't see that one coming. Is this some kind of a joke? Not at all. Why do you want to work here? It will humble me. Not buying it. Does this have something to do with Ruff? It has everything to do with him. Wait, you've seen Ruff? What happened to him? Listen, I retrieved the wrist ring I made for him. It was in the possession of an Auntie Annie. I destroyed the Auntie Annie and got it back. I see. Well, Pachos, that's a bit aggressive, don't you think? It was the least I could do. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but Sami blew up the school murdering someone, too, and, um, well, we just don't want that kind of destruction here at Fairview High. You cannot possibly hold any reservations, considering what they did to Koch. Oh, we don't. You didn't see us doing anything about Mila dying. Yes, we were more concerned for the school, and we still are, but you seem to be omitting information from us. I have told you all that you need to know. No, you haven't. I want to know more about what happened to Ruff. Oh, okay, because we were thinking that you wanted to work here because you might know a little something about our communication system. The one you tried to break? I destroyed that headboard to protect Kaj. It was a mistake. Please, accept my apology. We need to be confident that you're not going to get paranoid and break our system again. Is my word not enough? Not if you're a loose cannon. Then I take it that you have rejected my offer. No, we're gonna... Put you on probation. You hang around here during the day and keep the chaos at a minimum, and we'll consider your offer. That seems like a fair compromise. Good, because we would be your bosses and you would have to do what we say. If we hire you. And you should hire him. I'm putting in a recommendation right now. I got your back, Patito. Well, I guess there's some weight in that. Hey, really? Yes, but only on a minute scale. I guess that's better than nothing, huh, Patos? Do not address me by that stupid word anymore. I'm, I'm sorry. I thought you liked it. Both of you get out. Yo, Marcia. You okay? I noticed you've been kind of down lately. I was upset, but I'm better today, I think. That's good. I hate to think about you being sad. Thanks, Nick. Hey, uh, so I was thinking about getting a tattoo after school. Wanna come? Ain't your parents gonna get mad? No, I'm 18. I can do what I want now, 
Besides, I already picked it out. It's a masia flower. Oh, that's right. Your name is a flower. Andrew found this really pretty drawing of a masia flower in this book he has. Andrew? What you doing hanging out with him? He's my friend. Alright. Say, I think I do want to come with you to get that tattoo after all. I mean, if you in pain while it's happening, it ain't like Andrew gonna know what to do. He can be real sweet when he wants to be. Kid, stop what you're doing. We have two announcements. First off, Kirsten gave birth recently. It's a boy, and for anyone who would like to visit her at home and meet the new bundle of joy, we will give you one excused absence if you can get her to sign a note that you were with her and bring it back to us tomorrow. And don't you try and forge her signature because we already have a copy of it. Oh, cool. We definitely need to go see that baby, Mary Jane. Totally, Amanda. Oh my gosh, let's go to the mall after school and get her and the baby some presents. Oh, good idea. Excuse me, I know when you kids are not listening to me. Now, we have another announcement. We have a new student teacher. Don't piss him off, he's a loose cannon. Most of you already know him. Most of us? Wait a second. Is it Potito? I thought he already was a teacher here for some reason. Guess I was wrong. Shh, Greg, don't call him Potito. Indeed it is, Greg. Kids, go to lunch. <sighs> Sorry for snapping on you just now, Greg. It's just that Potos doesn't want to be called Potos anymore. Probably because his name isn't Potos. I don't even think I know his real name. It's Amon, and Mr. Witt is right. Stay out of his way. He's just here to, I don't know, protect you guys. He's not really a teacher. Protect us from what? I don't know, people like Bruce, I guess. Ah, you mean he doesn't want to party with us anymore? Where is he? I want to talk to him. Greg, no, I just told you not to mess with him. Hey, Greg! Whoa, there he is, and he does look pretty scary. I'm gonna go bother him. <laughs> yeah, Greg! Hey, dude! So, the teachers told us that you work here now. That's pretty tight! <laughs> we should all go out partying like we did that one time. What do you say? That is not a bad idea. Wait, what? You actually want to party with us again? See, I told you he was still fun. It's just a tradition at Fairview that the teachers party with their students. Duh. Greg, you can't leave the school in the middle of the day to go out drinking. But Patito looks sad. Do not call me that stupid name. Whoa, sorry, dude. <laughs> I didn't mean to make you mad. I guess Mark was right. Ah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm like, <laughs> never right. So are you upset over Ruff? That is not his name. Yikes, I'm really hitting a nerve. Yeah, Greg, maybe you should stop while you're ahead. I don't mean to. The words just keep spilling out. Does anyone ever know what happened to Sami? What happened is that he is a coward. Okay. Hey, how's about I go grab us some beer down the street? I got a better idea. How's about you go back inside and let Amon guard the school? It is all right. He is not such a bother. Thank you. I just want to have a good time. We all do, Greg. I think the three of us should get smashed together. Greg, now's not the time. If not now, then when? I saw that on a bumper sticker today. <laughs> Whatever, let's go back inside already, Greg. Hold on, Gregory. Yeah? Stay here. You need the walk. Clearly, you are very bored. Oh man, am I ever. You should not have to go inside when it is such a nice day. Sweet! Bye, Mark! Um, okay. Have fun, you guys. Uh, I'm gonna go do my assignment. So, do you, like, get your hair professionally braided or twisted or something? What? Are those, like, dreadlocks or weave or what? It is my natural hair. I have always worn it long. It's sexy, man. Like a lion's mane. But of course it is. These ain't no nappy dreads. I would never allow them to be. <laughs> so, um, how do you wash it? Is it really, like, three different shades of brown? Because it's just, like, totally fabulous. Thank you. I would not have it any other way. Can I touch it? No, you cannot. Bust. It's worth a shot. At least you sought permission this time. Oh, have people just gone for it? Yes, you did when I first met you. I was drunk, and eventually so were you. Yes, I remember that. I don't. <laughs> Plus, can you blame me for wanting to touch your awesome hair? You're kind of like too cool for school, don't you think? You do not know much about this school, do you? Well, I know it's a private school. Like, 
really private. Like vagina private. And you must have done something impressive to get into it. I'm just different, that's all. Yes, I do believe that you are, Gregory. Hey, since you work here, do you have access to all that kind of stuff? Access to what kind of stuff? You know, information about the students and their past. I mean, because all of us are, you know, kind of on the outskirts. Yes, that is true. I am sure of it. But still, even with this all being pretty dang cool, that doesn't really answer why you've been hanging around here all this time. It seems you are quite suspicious. Eh, it's always been one of those unsolved mysteries, you know? I am here to protect this school. Since when, though? Just now? Since recently, yes. Yeah, but I mean, we met you at the club that one night, and then you came to camp, and you just keep kind of, well, you know, showing up. How come? Why do you think Sami was here? Uh, because he's an alien? I think you and I both know that he is not. Because he had powers? This is not just a school. It is also a base. Wait, what? Like a military base? It is always important to have someone like Sami or myself around. Yeah, but why? We have to make sure that spies do not relay information to our enemies. But, um, I got the feeling that someone like you has way better things to do than watch over a bunch of random high school kids. Better things to do? No. Not when Kaj is involved. I see. <laughs> You do know that Masia has the hots for him, right? Oh, please. No, she was super upset about him just the other day. Nobody really knows what happened to him. It's been a long time since anybody heard from him, and me and Andrew saw her crying after school because she was worried about him. It took us like two hours to get her to stop. That is not a very long time. What's that supposed to mean? A few hours is not a very long time to cry over someone. Seriously, though, I thought she was going to pass out she was so worked up. I felt so bad for her. She will live. You are such a child, and so is she. have a bad dream. What? Oh, it's you. What's your alias today? Pumpkin55? Actually, I'm donkey number 29. <laughs> oh, right. What's that smell? Aftershave. What? Why? Aw, oh, you don't like it? No, I do. It's nice. Oh, good. I gave you a barber style shave and I did your nails. What? Don't worry, it was a manly manicure. I did your toes and your hands. I was a professional all through college. It's how I paid for medical school. Um, I don't know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You were sleeping real nice this morning. Looked like you were having a good dream. Ugh, yeah, I remember it now, all of it. Well, if you want to talk about it, I'm here for you, hun. No. I mean, yes. I mean, ah, uh, it all makes sense now. It's like everything from way back came back to me all at once. Some of it was great, but a lot of it was really, really bad. So don't focus on the bad memories. Just focus on the good ones. The good ones. Yeah, I really screwed those up just by not remembering them until now. It's always good when you start to get some perspective though, right? Is it? I don't know. Now I'm regretting everything. We all make mistakes. Don't be so hard on yourself. When am I going to be able to leave this place? You can leave when you're well. Fine. I'm well. No, you're not. Ugh, this is so frustrating. Can't you at least let me try and contact some people? People I need to talk to? Depends on who it is. Oh wait, what am I doing? I'll just use the wrist ring. What are you talking about? You don't have a communicator on your wrist. Oh no, you're right. What happened to it? Beats me, I never saw one on ya. I can't believe I didn't realize it was gone until now. Well, maybe Tiger number 99 knows what happened to it. Who? You know, the other nurse. You mean Elian? I mean Tiger number 99. Oh, look, 
there he is. We were just talking about you. Elian, what happened to my wrist ring? I am tiger number 99, my friend. God, kill me. And I'm afraid I do not know. For I promise if I did, I would tell you. <sighs> Maybe Sami has it. I wish he had told you where he was going when you saw him. Unfortunately, I only saw him for a few moments on that day. Yeah, and then you hauled me off to the morgue all bloodied up. Don't remind me. Oh, but that is not exactly what happened. It's not. Then what happened? You were cleaned quite carefully beforehand by a good friend. Something about that makes me really depressed. Oh, my, I'd hate to see you regress when you're doing so well. Let us not speak any more about the matter for now. Don't worry so much. People love you, and they didn't forget about you. That's all that matters. No, none of it matters because I just now remembered it all after the fact. Okay, okay, just don't beat yourself up about it, okay? Now, what did you remember? I told you all of it. You cannot let yourself get worked up over the past. Ugh, what is this? I can't see. It will hinder your healing. Oh, dear. You've gone and fallen right off of the bed Ugh, now. What's happening? It's like I can't even see. I'm so pissed off all of a sudden. Lie back down, Cod. I can't. Don't you get it? The Auntie Anne has ruined my life. They didn't ruin your life because you're still here. No, but they ruined what I had. I should have shot that bruised guy when I had the chance. I should just kill all of them. Please, Kaj, this is so very bad for you. If you must recollect, then I must ask you to recollect the memories that only bring you happiness. No, because when I think of how things could have been, I think of everything that got taken away. Then please, I beg of you, calmly tell us what this is really about. Yeah, tell us calmly, Kaj. Don't tell me to be calm. You weren't there. Where, my boy? Where? Ugh! Let me leave! I need to leave! We can't let you do that right now, Kaj. Where's Amon? He was there. He'll understand what I'm talking about. Please, do not be angry at him, Kaj. Angry at him? No, it's nothing like that. <sighs> Come on, Tiger number 99. Let's oh, help God, him get I back onto look the bed. Back out. When did I end up on the floor? Where am I? Is this the floor? What is Here, this? Here, hon, we got you. We're just gonna put you back in the bed nice and easy. No, I don't want to sleep anymore. Okay, okay, you don't have to sleep then. God, that jerk blew a hole right through me! And that hole will not heal if you continue on this tantrum. Those stupid drone shot saw me up and now I don't know where saw me is. But the trauma is over and you need to settle down. No, that Bruce guy, he was spying on us the whole time with that headboard and no wonder Amon broke it. God, I'm so stupid! Please, Kaj, we are here to listen, but you must slow down for us to understand. We need context, my dear no. boy. No, no, the worst part is I didn't remember anything until today. Please, do not be so hard on yourself. God, I didn't remember why Amon kept following me around, and then I told him to back off, and then Bruce showed up all over again, and I could have had protection, and, and I rejected it. God, I'm an idiot! You're not an idiot, you're just confused, that's all. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I am an idiot. Oh dear, you've been through a lot. That's enough drama for today. I need to talk to Amon. I need to be near someone who gets all of this. And you will when you are well. I can't wait that long. I see. Well, he was the one who cleaned you off before I brought you here. He was? And as far as your vengeful declarations, I am sure he shares your sentiments. How do you know? He proclaimed his own authority over the matter. What did he say? I shouldn't repeat what he pledged to do. All I can say is, more anger won't help anything. It's true. Now I need you to drink this potion. No more sleeping medicine. It's the opposite. It's going to give you more energy. Fine. I'm sorry. It is quite all right. I don't mean to be so mad. I just hate that this keeps happening. You do have every right to be upset, but the time for rage is over now. Drink up, and we'll go outside for a walk. Really? I haven't been outside in forever. And it is a beautiful day. You will have to be pushed in the wheelchair, though. It's better than being in here. Very well, then. End of episode 19. Fair Fair you. Ah!